in front of 313 Sterling Bridge Drive. Again, 313 Sterling Bridge Drive. This is a Cameron, obviously the Med 2 elevation again. A couple subtle differences. This one does not have a door out the back of this, uh, this single car garage, but it does have the Jack and Jill access. I'm gonna walk you into this home. A lot of similar features, a few different. It's a little flipped, so it's completely flipped 180 from the last house. So the cabinets and little storage area here is on the right. The framed in office area here is on your left. As I come into this home, still you're gonna have the uh, sliding glass door, the eight foot tall with the four transom windows. Now, one thing I will tell you about this house, this one will have a pocket sliding door. So all three panels will hide and you can see here behind the wall. So this little inset over here, so all 12 feet, where the other one will just open side to side. This one will open up all the way from the kitchen toward the sunroom, and that is your pool bath out there. So pool bath, door, opaque. So that's just your powder room kind of thing out there, but it's considered a pool bath. Now here is your exposure here. So very similar, but just a different orientation. You are a little bit more west here. So you see they have the two fountains here. As I look to the left, there's another fountain there. So all things here backing up toward the water feature. As you can see here it is late afternoon. You're getting a little bit of sun into the, uh, you know, to the living area here, but obviously if you have the sliding glass doors, that's gonna shadow it uh, and knock it down a little bit. But I'm standing basically mostly in shade as I enter the home. Uh, a couple highlights, uh, obviously same, same configuration with the powder room, Jack and Jill, et cetera. Now this laundry room, now we have the door here at the kitchen. So this is a larger laundry room. Now your AC unit will go up on this loft area up there, up and out of the way. But here you'll see washer dryer and then you have some wall space here and wall space here for added things that you might need. Um, master bathroom gonna be the same, but this closet is going to be larger because we have this laundry room this way. I'm gonna sneak in here. So you'll see this master closet goes all the way almost to the left side of this tub area, where in the other one, it's probably three feet shorter. So this one on lot number seven, 313, would have a larger master closet as well. So larger um, utility room, larger master closet, pool bath. Uh, and as we mentioned, they're not much difference in price and value. Again, your view straight out of the master towards the conservation area. There's your fountains and then another fountain over here. So you can see this does get a little more sun. I'm gonna pull back and show you the floor. This is the master bedroom. So you can see we're almost west uh, orientation here. Just wanted to give you the highlights. We've got a tray ceiling in the master bedroom here. I've got a uh, tray ceiling in the gathering room and also a tray ceiling in the office. I'm gonna step out back again for a minute. Now, as I mentioned to you on the phone, this is lot number seven. I suggested lots two and three, which are obviously gonna be four and five home sites away from here, which is gonna be down toward that end where closer toward that fountain there and a little bit wider part of the water down there as well. As you can see, it pops out. So that would be same exact orientation, just a little further to my left from what I'm seeing here. So a little less view of this water feature here, but a little bit more view of this fountain down here. So that's for you guys to decide. Um, so I have a couple home sites. I'm gonna send you pictures. I took pictures of lot 16 uh, and then obviously lots uh, two and three, I'm gonna stop and take a picture of those as well. So. Just wanted to give you these highlights. Um, hopefully it gives you what you're looking for and helps a little bit understand. And uh, as always, I'm happy to answer questions. Thanks guys.